I know you've been eager for a decision on cadet summer training. Today we have guidance on the way forward as we adjust CST in accordance with national efforts to combat the spread of COVID-19. Now let me say up front that this video may not answer all of your questions. I'm providing a framework for the way forward. You may have questions specific to your personal circumstances and as always, those are best addressed at the program level with your PMS. We will also host a Facebook town hall in the near future to talk more about CST and answer more of your questions. The short answer is that all training for advanced and basic camps moves from centralized training at Fort Knox to a decentralized execution of training on campuses and other installations during the fall and spring semesters for our rising MS4s. As you know, CST is the largest annual training event in the Army. The health and safety of our cadets, our soldiers, and our communities is our number one priority. We assessed the traditional cadet summer training model at Fort Knox and decided that it would be irresponsible to possibly expose such a large group to the risks of COVID-19. So what does that mean for you? For those who plan to attend advance camp this summer, the core skills and competencies that you would have practiced at Fort Knox will be addressed with on-campus training throughout the fall and spring semesters and longer, more rigorous field training exercises each semester. If you are planning to attend basic camp this summer, it will now be provided as an additional program of instruction on campus to qualify you for your MS3 level classes. For our rising seniors, we are developing adjustments for your classroom instruction, labs, and field training exercises to ensure you have the training required to be successful at the basic officer leader courses after commissioning. We do not make any of these decisions lightly and are working to ensure that any cadet who is unable to complete the adjusted training will still be able to move forward in ROTC. I can't say right now what those specific exceptions will be, but know that we are working closely with your cadre, the brigades, and the Army staff to ensure that your dream of becoming an Army officer will not be impacted by these unprecedented measures as long as you continue to apply yourself in your ROTC program. If you are a senior graduating this month and require advanced camp prior to commissioning, the Secretary of the Army has approved constructive CST credit from your university's fall semester field training exercise. You will receive your commission on time from your ROTC programs and proceed to Bolick as scheduled. Since you did not attend CST and will not have time to complete the distributed training model we are using for the fiscal year 2021 cohort, you can be expected to be assessed at Bolick to determine if you require additional training before or after completion of the standard program of instruction. Some of you may wonder if we are still able to provide the quality education and training required of our second lieutenants. And I will tell you without hesitation, yes. Advanced camp and basic camp provide invaluable training to our cadets, but they are only effective as a piece of the overall ROTC experience. Moving forward with our MS3s and MS4s this year, we will combine quality instruction and additional resourced training at the program level to ensure you complete all tasks required of the ROTC curriculum. I need your focus and effort to make this plan work. We will ask much of you this year, but the reward will be worth the effort. Ultimately, you will become second lieutenants and you will be the quality officers that our Army and its soldiers deserve.